Hello, Elk Grove Unified students, families, and staff. I'm Santhi Pinkerton in communications. And I'm Sandeep Dosanjh. We're here to provide you with another episode of Eager News to provide you with a district, county, and state update. That's right. And before we get started, Sandeep, it is so nice to have you back with us. We hope you enjoyed your vacation. Thank you so much, and I did. Great. So, and on Eager News, we focus on healthy minds, healthy bodies, and healthy learning. So let's get started. This past week, our middle and high school students completed their first quarter and our elementary school students are nearing their second trimester. Congratulations and thank you all for your hard work. We are grateful to everyone in the community for the outpouring of support and care for our students and staff. At the start of October, we celebrated the work of our custodial staff who have kept our facilities clean sanitized and safe for everyone who is working on site. As we await confirmation that Sacramento County has cleared red status and continues to move towards orange, all of our teams remain dedicated to provide the learning continuity our students need by keeping them engaged, offering needed support, and making sure everyone is staying safe and healthy. Thank you, Sandy. Now, during public comment at our last board meeting, several parents expressed appreciation and preference for the quality distance learning model our teachers and staff developed for our students. So based on that feedback, we wanna confirm that we will continue to provide a distance learning option connected to each student's school of record. Even if we transition to an in-person instructional model, we're gonna be keeping the distance learning component as one of the learning models. We are fully aware of the concerns families have for either staying in distance learning or returning to an in-person setting. Yeah, I know that the conversation has been around safety and it's great that the district is gonna be providing both different models once we do transition. So on October 14th, we will share plans needs and steps forward for board feedback and direction. The public is welcome and invited to listen and offer public comment during this day-long workshop and presentation. Until that time, we have an update on completed actions and work in progress. Thank you, Sandy. So here are the bullet points for completed work. All right, so we have an outstanding average daily attendance of 96.6% thanks to student participation, parent support, uh, engaging instruction, and also student support. Many successful school site innovations have also been taking place virtually, like spirit days and even performances. So that's work that's been done and it's gonna continue. Um, we've also had several safe in-person assessments for students with special needs. Um, and we've also had a rollout of an after-school education and safety, it's called ACES, program at about a dozen elementary schools to provide safety and supervision of academic and literacy support um, and safe constructive alternatives for students who are most vulnerable of learning loss. So now let's move on to the work in process. Immunizations, dental and vision screenings, appointments. Second is staff testing procedures and protocols in coordination with the county public health. Third, planning and planning of further in-person specialized support services for small cohorts. Fourth, continued safety coordination of current on-site essential workers and planning for instructional staff safety and logistics. And lastly, Mm. transportation planning and logistics. That's right, Sandy. There's a lot of planning going on right now, a lot of logistics, procedures, protocols, etc. They're all being planned out. So parents are encouraged to listen in on the upcoming virtual Board of Education meetings. It'll be on October 14th. This is a special, it's not a special board, it's a board workshop. Uh, we do these a couple of times a year and the, this will be from 8.30 a.m to 3 p.m. and we'll, it'll still be available virtually and people will still be able to submit their public comment 
like they normally would at the other board meetings, but this one is a board workshop during the daytime. Also then following that on November 4th, there's another board workshop that is um, being scheduled and that will also take place from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. So please, we ask everybody to remain vigilant about wearing a face mask, maintaining social distance and hand washing so we can turn Sacramento County orange by the end of October. And for those who can, remember to get a flu shot. Yeah, that's right. And also take a moment to log in to the parent view portal to check your students' grades, attendance, and communication from their teachers. For parents who need assistance with parent view activation, please contact your school site or the Family and Community Engagement Office. Their number is 916-831-5530. And for translations and interpretation services for families, that is available and you may contact that office at 916-793-2953. That's right and for those who um, aren't sure how to access or use Parent View, we have a couple of um, links that we're going to guide you to that are uh, available on our district's website. Um, the first link is um, basically to visit the eGUSD Synergy page um, and there's a Parent View FAQ, Frequently Asked Question page or, or link that you can go to. That's where you can learn more about Parent View and what it is. And then if you want to learn more about how to use Parent View and why it's so important to use Parent View and to get act, have your account activated, um, there are several videos that our Family and Community Engagement uh, Office uh, prepared. Um, and they're in English, Spanish, Cantonese, and Hmong, as well as Vietnamese. And those links are also going to be available, um, not only in the letter that's going out to all of our community, but um, I think we can put those links also in the description below. Great. Thank you, Zanthi. Mm -hmm. So now let's transition yes. and provide the county and state update. Sacramento County is in the red tier and at 5.3 for new COVID-19 cases per day with per day per 100,000 and is at a 3.4% positivity rate. Mm. Statewide, California is at a 7.1 on a new COVID-19 cases per day per 100,000 and the state is at a 3.2% positivity rate. Collectively, we all hope to turn Sacramento orange by the end of October and we can do it by wearing face masks, maintaining social distancing of six feet and frequently hand washing or sanitizing. And there's other ways that we could continue to turn Sacramento orange and we could get tested and to find out the information of additional ways to turn orange and testing locations, please visit the County Public Health website at saccounty.net. Absolutely, and the next time we're, the dates or the um, information is updated will be next Tuesday. So um, the numbers that we reported today were from this past Tuesday's report. Um, and then next Tuesday, everybody will have a chance to see where, where we are, both in the county as well as in the state. All right, well, huh, that's it for EGU News and our EGU News update. Remember to subscribe to the Elk Grove Unified School District YouTube channel and click on that little bell icon to receive notifications. I'm Santi Pinkerton. Stay safe and stay healthy. And I'm Sandeep Josange. We'll see you next time.